problem 12. A solid sphere radius 40 centimeters has a total positive charge of 22.5 microcoulombs, uniformly distributed throughout its volume. Calculate the mag magnitude of the electric field at the following distances. Okay? We can do this. Pen. So, let's start by drawing a picture. So we have a sphere. Use my magic sphere generator. It's actually a circle generator, but... Yeah. I'm going to call it a sphere generator. And it has radius of 40 centimeters. And a total charge of 22.5 microcoulombs. Okay, uniformly distributed. Okay. So, we're going to calculate the electric field zero centimeters from the center of the sphere. All right, zero centimeters from the center of the sphere. So, we are going to rely on Gauss's law for this guy. So we have a flux equals Q enclosed over epsilon naught, epsilon naught, which equals a surface integral of E dot dA. All right. I know you guys could probably jump to the conclusion at this point, but I always think it's better just to write out the whole formula. It helps keep me focused. Um, it's not usually about how quickly you can finish these problems. It's about um, how few mistakes you can make. So if you like the, the tortoise and the hare sort of thing, as long as you are making continual progress and not going super slow, then you're probably working fast enough for these problems. And I think it's worthwhile to write out the formula. All right, so at zero centimeters, we are going to have zero Q enclosed. So, um, yep, at the exact center, uh, there's going to be zero volume there, which means that there's going to be zero Q enclosed, which means zero electric field. Bam. Easy. Done. I'm pretty sure if you had to guess one answer for every physics problem, zero would probably be your best bet. Zero or one. Or pi. But I go with zero. All right. Ten centimeters from the center of the sphere. All right. So we're looking at a radius of ten centimeters. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could use the volume of the sphere to find a row a charge density, which would then tell us how much of the total Q is enclosed in this small section. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say that Q enclosed, I'm going to call this Q enclosed 10 for the 10 centimeter question, it's just going to be a ratio of the volumes, the volume of the 40 centimeter um, radius, it's radius, right? It doesn't say diameter? Yeah, radius. Um, and that'll be dividing the uh, volume of the 10 centimeter uh, circle. So volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. In this case, it'll be 0.1 cubed divided by 4 thirds pi uh, 0.4 cubed. And then we're going to multiply this by the total Q that we have. So what this does is it gives us a ratio. 22.5. Now we can do this better. Times 22.5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. All right. And the nice thing about this is these guys cancel out. These guys cancel out. And we have 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.4 quantity cubed. Hmm. So it's just the same as 0.25 cubed. I'm going to do that. Just to show off, I'm going to do... 0.25 cubed times times 22.5 times 10 to the negative sixth. Because 1 cubed over 4 cubed is the same as 1 divided by 4 quantity cubed, which is 0.25. So we have 3.52 times 10 to the negative seventh. 3, nope, nope, I already forgot it. Oh, nope. 3.52.
3.52 times 10 to the negative 7. And that'll be coulombs. Got it. Hmm, does that seem reasonable? Because we had 22.5. Let's see here. That's like a hundredth? That's like a hundredth of that almost. So one fourth cubed, one sixteenth, one sixty fourth, yeah. So a twenty two point five divided by sixty four. Point three five. Yeah, okay. I'll believe that. Bam. True. Mostly true. True enough. All right. So now that we have Q enclosed right here, we're gonna use that to find the electric field. Equals I don't mean equals, I'm gonna say arrow. There we go. That way I can say it's related, but don't actually have to specify the relation. Kind of like saying you're in a complicated relationship. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Means whatever you want it to mean. All right. So we're gonna have 3.52 times 10 to the negative seventh divided by, and this area here is going to be of the small circle, so it's gonna be four pi times the radius of 0.1 squared, 4 pi r squared, that's the surface area of a sphere, and then we're going to have an epsilon naught in the bottom too. So this is going to be 3.52 times 10 to the negative seventh. This right here is going to be the same as 10 to the negative second, because it's uh, 0.1 is 10 to the negative first, 10 to the negative first squared is 10 to the negative second, and then on 10 to the negative second on the bottom is the same as 10 to the second on top. And then we're going to have 4 pi epsilon naught, which is going to be 1 over k. It's going to be the same as k on top. There we go. And that guy is supposed to be negative. So rewriting this so it looks semi-proper. k times 3.5 2 times 10 to the negative fifth, because 10 to the negative seventh times 10 to the second. And I'll give us the answer. 3.52 2 times 10 to the negative fifth times, and then k, which is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Hmm, that's going to give us a big answer. Hmm. 316 times 10 to the third. Yep. Equals 316 times 10 to the third. So here then, this is an um, electric field, so it'll be neutrons per coulomb. But this part right here, the 10 to the third, will make it um, 316 kilonewtons per coulomb. Kilo means 1,000, i.e. 10 to the third. So 316. All right. Now we want to look at it 40 centimeters from the center of the sphere. So we could do the exact same thing we did before, except this time we would get, um, we'd have 4 thirds pi 0.4 cubed over 4 thirds pi times 0.4 cubed, which would just be 1. So Q enclosed is all of Q. So to do this, I'm just going to I'm going to skip Gauss's law and use the definition of an electric field. I'm going to treat everything in here as a point charge. Um, you can use Gauss's law, but it's but when you have a spherical shape and you're looking at the very edge, you can uh, when you have a spherical shape and you're outside of the sphere you can treat everything uh, in the sphere as a point charge. So that's what I'm going to do for this, kq over r squared. So if you feel more comfortable trying to use Gauss's law and drawing a uh, Gaussian shape using q and close over epsilon naught, feel free to do so. You'll get the same answer. So this will be 8.99 times 10 to the ninth times 22 Point five times ten to the negative sixth, all over. Uh, I'm going to say four times ten to the negative second. 
which I'm going to change to 10 a second up here. And then I'm going to simplify slightly. So we'll have 8.99 times 22.5. times 10, let's see, 9 minus 6 is 3, plus 2 is 5, all over 4. All right. Ooh, I'm not going to erase that part. 8.99 times to the ninth times, was it 22.5? 22.5. Times eight point nine nine times twenty two point five times ten to the fifth divided by four. All right, and we'll check that over, make sure it looks right. Eight point nine nine times two point five two two point five divided by four. And it gives us five point zero. No, it gives us five zero five six five times ten to the sixth. 5.06. There we go. 5.06 times 10 to the 6th. Hmm, that's quite a bit bigger than the previous. No, it's not. That's about right. So it's about, so we had uh, 3.16 times 10 to the 5th. So this is like 100 times bigger. Hmm, 10 times bigger? Like 10 times bigger? Okay. Which seems reasonable because. Um, even though we're moving further away from the center, we're picking up more charge as it moves out. So this is exactly at the edge, right? 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters, yes. So 5.06 times 10 to the 6, which is the same as... five point zero six times 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 3rd. So 5... One, two, three kilonewtons per curl. Five zero six zero. So maybe twenty times bigger? Yeah, it's about twenty times bigger. Okay, I believe that. All right, then we're up from sixty five centimeters from the center. So we are way out past the circle. Zero point six five. All right. So here we could use either, as I did earlier, using the uh, E equals K Q over R squared, or we could use Gauss's law. Um, this time, just to make life exciting, I'm going to use Gauss's law just to show you how it works. So I have great faith in you, and you could probably figure it out on your own. So we have flux equals. Hmm, excuse me. Q enclosed over epsilon naught equals a surface integral of e dot dA, where Q enclosed is going to be 22.5 times 10 to the negative sixth. All right. So rearranging this, um, we're going to have E equals so we're going to be able to pull the E out because it's constant, and we'll have a surface integral of the sphere with radius equals 0 0.65, which I'll call 6.5 times 10 to the negative first. So we'll have Q enclosed over epsilon naught 4 pi r squared. OK, which will be. 22.5 times 10 to the negative sixth. This here, I'm going to make a 1 up here, is k, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth over r squared, which will be 6.5 squared times 10 to the negative second. That's just math. Move this guy to the top. Move this over, so we have 22.5 times 8.99 all over 6.5 squared, 
Did I square this guy up here? Did I square this? I did not. Hmm. Sorry, backtracking slightly. That guy's supposed to be squared. Maybe I'm just better at Gauss's Law. This is probably a sign. I'm going to kill this guy. You die. You die. You die. Come back here. Divide, change that 4 to a 16. And we get... Ah, you're not still computing. You're just talking over the internet. All right, 1.26 times 10 to the 6th. 1.26 times 10 to the 6th. Okay. And I'm going to divide by 1,000 because I'm lazy and don't want to convert it by hand. 1264. 1264. Okay. So this guy is actually supposed to be 1264, which is exactly four times that, hmm. which seems reasonable. Okay, that seems reasonable because the uh, electric field gets uh, weaker uh, and by an R squared relation, but the volume gets bigger as an R cubed relation. So R should be proportional to the um, electric field strength as you're going out from the circle until you get to the edge. So hmm. should have caught that earlier. Should have caught that earlier. All right, back to this guy. 2.5 times 8.99. All right, so we have 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. Okay, so now we're going to have 22.5. Got it. Times 8.99. Times 8.99. Times 10 to the fifth. Divided by 6.5 squared. Twenty-two point five, eight point nine nine to the fifth squared. All right. So this time, ah, so small. Four seven eight times ten to the third equals four seven eight times ten to the third. Now be four seven eight kilonewtons per coulomb. All right. Four, seven, eight. All right, so let's make this sure this makes sense real quick. So we start out at the middle. We have zero. Check. Makes sense. We go out a little ways, and it gets bigger. It does. And it keeps getting bigger until we reach the edge of the circle. Check. And then we go out a ways further, and we're out like one and a half the radius. So 1.5 times 1.5 is like probably a little over 2. 2.25 maybe. So the once we're outside the radius of the sphere, uh, we're not going to be picking up any more charge as it goes out. So then the electric field is going to decay off as a 1 over r squared relationship. So we got when 1.5 radius bigger, and it, uh, the electric field shrank by a little bit over half, which seems reasonable. So yes, these are correct. And this is how you do this problem. All right? Gauss's law. All right, sounds good. All right. Only got a couple more. Stay strong. I believe in you. See you next time.